hey, hey, hey. Do you know what? It's time to get out and about. Mark's gonna be working all week. So what can I do to utilize my time? So today, I'm gonna go on a bit of a walk. Now, I do have a little bit of a mission, maybe, I suppose, because I've been thinking about pastries and donuts and all of that sort of stuff. So I thought for my first, you know, out on my own, completely on my own, um, I'm gonna take you to some cake shops. <laughs> That's right. I am thinking about croissants, I'm thinking about donuts, I'm thinking about all that good stuff. So we're gonna start this one in Covent Garden. Now I have five places in mind. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out sort of the best way to navigate my way to all these places because I don't know where they are. I only actually know where one is. The others, I don't know where they are. So I think that, um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's start at the first one. Okay, so just behind me is Buns From Home. So I got two cakes. Wasn't quite what I was expecting, to be quite honest. Um, they didn't have many things ready. They were still baking things. It's 20 past, <laughs> it's what, half past 11? Let me just double check. So it's 11.40 and they're still baking things. Um, it's very small premises. It's a grab and go. So I know they would have probably sold a lot of stuff you know, for the morning rush. But also I expected by 11.40, you're preparing for your lunchtime rush, which starts at 12. So unless they're gonna be baking things within 20 minutes, um, yeah, I just thought, mm. So my first impressions are so-so, um, but the proof is in the pudding and I can't wait to try it later. So on to our, on to our next spot. Okay, so behind me is the St. John's Bakery. I'm just having a look there. Yep, yeah, there it is. And I picked up a few things. Uh, I picked up a chocolate um, donut. I picked up a raspberry jam donut. And I picked up a custard donut and it all came to £13.50 which I didn't think was too too bad for London prices okay so Cucumber Alley is now open um, it's an indoor food market just off of uh, Seven Dials so here we go I've got to say the smell is amazing but the particular place that I wanted to come to was on on buns and there you are open I can't believe it so I am definitely, definitely getting um, an Ong Ong bun. Um, so yeah, I will let you know. Oh, the buns are there. So I'm gonna let you know what I come back with. Um, so there is another place uh, where I would like to go. I've got quite a few bits of cake now. And I've only been to a couple of places, but I couldn't help it. Do you know what I mean? Once you see the cakes and you think, oh, I have to get this, I have to get that. Um, so yeah. So as you can see, you, the area is so lovely just outside but you know what it's easy to miss but if you just come through floral court and I came uh, just off of Covent Garden you'll find the chestnut bakery step one wake up brother gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food in you step three you grow hard about what you want to be step four everybody just do your thing wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Do you want to know if customer service still exists in London? It does. I've got to say, Julia uh, at Chestnut Bakery, the level of customer service, I can't fault it. 
Um, so if you are ever here, ask for Julia. She's a lovely lady and uh, yeah, it was just, I decided to take a flatbread or as Mark will call them, pizza. And uh, so he was on the phone to me and I said, oh, do you want me to bring you back anything? And he was like, mm, no, I don't think so. And all of that type of stuff. And I said, oh, they do pizza. He said, yes, please. So uh, they call it flatbread, but you know. So I ordered the pizzas and I ordered the cakes and she tied up the pizza in this little box here. Um, it wouldn't fit in my bag and I bought two bags um, because I knew I'd be bringing food home. Uh, it's piping hot and I really want to sit down and eat some. But I think, do you know what? I am going to make my way home now. I was going to go. So do you know what happened? Um, so when I came out, I saw donut time and I thought to myself, oh, I'll get one. And then I thought, I don't want to carry it. So I'll get it on the way back. I had bought so, I've bought so much cakes and things like that. I thought, do you know what? Um, that's it. And then as I was approaching the station, I remembered they were doing the donut that I wanted to try called the Pina Turner, which is based on Pina Colada. And you know what my favorite cocktail is, right? Peanut colada. So I had to get it, I had to. So now I've got all these cakes to try. Ah, oh, what's a girl to do? So uh, I'm home now and I've got two cameras going. So one to sort of see the food and one to see my expressions. Um, so I think I might start with the savory things first. Um, I was only planning on getting like one or two savoury things and I ended up getting four savoury things. So um, I'm going to start with Ong On buns. Now the only one that I was really interested in was this one because this was the uh, pork bun. Then they had a seasonal one and the seasonal one was the hot dog. So. I am looking forward to trying those. I also got um, a pizza, but I'll come on to that in a moment. That wasn't from Ong On Buns though. These are just from Ong On Buns. Um, uh, so yeah, so let's, let's try this. This is the barbecue pork. So as you can see there, looks really good. Um, the next one that I'm going to cut this is a chicken one. I think this is chicken curry, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to show it to the camera. Not an awful lot of filling, I have to say. So, there you go. Uh, not that much filling. Then the other one, the last one, which is this hot dog type one. So, there you go. So I'm going to try all of these right now. I am so excited. Um, here we go. That's good. The barbecue pork inside is really good. There's a bit too much bread and the bread isn't as soft as it should be, but I've got to say, the barbecue pork, yeah, that is really good to eat. I want to pick up the next bit and eat the next bit, but I'm going to try to carry on. Okay. As you can see, I've left the bready part. Um, it's a bit too much bread, I think, but, you know, each to their own. Um, I don't know what type of bread this is. It looks similar but not so let's try it i like this one too i think it's got something like a cheese top maybe mm. i really like it i like there's some herbs on it as well it's really good um it's almost like almost like a pizza i suppose um if they've all you know with that little cheese on on the top and it's not too cheesy and um a little bit of herbs on the top 
I don't know if that's oregano or something. It doesn't taste like oregano though. It could be basil maybe. But I really like that. I really want to finish it, but I'm not going to. Next is the curry chicken. Now, I think in my mind, I've kind of made up my mind about it only because on looks, like it doesn't look, do you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I'm going to eat, I'm going to chow down on this because it looks a little bit dry, but not only that, there's just not that much filling in it. I'll take another bite. There's not that much chicken in it, which is a bit unfortunate. The bread is a lot softer than the barbecue pork bread. The curry is really good. It's a little bit spicy. If you like spice, it's a bit spicy. Not too spicy. Just a little heat sprinkling on the tongue. Mm, I like it. Um, it needs more filling. I think that's my only real bugbear. You know what? Actually, you can imagine that type of curry in a samosa. And that would go really, really well. That um, chicken curry mix in a samosa would be perfect. I have to say, of all the places that I went to today, um, Julia at the Chestnut Bakery in Covent Garden her um uh level of service customer service i've got to say is right up there right up there um she was trying to get in behind the counter to help everyone and it was started getting packed and um she was helping me and it was yeah her um customer service was really really good that's the burrata there um and it's a burrata and burnt honey and i've got to say that does look amazing smells amazing too i said to them oh do you have a meat one and they said yes and this is it so um i'm assuming that's beef i think i'm not sure what cheese is on it so i just said oh yeah i'll have that <laughs> <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have the meat one so this is what it looks like I've got to say first impressions this is really good and it's just plain flatbread wow 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 it's got just the right amount of spice there you go so you can see the crushed chilies on there and everything so good and, uh, i will go on to the sweet stuff in a minute So you saw earlier that I had all the savoury stuff. And what did you think of your pizza? This pizza was really, really good. Your mine was obviously the one with the honey, but I have finished work and I am now ready to join us for the sweets, which is going to be my favourite bit. So Buns From Home was actually on uh, Long Acre, 140 Long Acre, I believe. Right, um, now I'm going to hold these up so you guys can see. Do you want to talk through oh, them? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so one is the Dolce de Leche. And that's the one on the left. And it? the other one is the Almond and Pistachio. They smell amazing. Yeah, they do. Um, they don't look that pretty, uh, but they smell amazing. So I am hoping that these are going to be good buns. So here we are. That's half of the... Which one is this one? This is the Almond one. Almond, okay. Almond and Pistachio. Okay. Mmm. That's really good. 
It reminds me of a Cinnabon, but a much better version of a Cinnabon. Sorry, Cinnabon. Mmm. It's almondy, I've got the cinnamon running through it. Really flaky. That's no. delicious. For me, it's okay. It's very pleasant. Yeah, it's nice. Um, but not really my thing. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Okay. But I do want to try this Dolce de Leche one. Okay. So we're gonna do half of a half. But that's right up my street. Oh. So this one's the Dolce de Leche one. Gonna give this Thinking. a go. Mm. I prefer the other one, but that is really good. Nice. Mm. It's really sticky. It's quite um, stodgy, but in a good way. I suppose that's what buns are, right? Mm. A bit of stodge. Um. I'm going to go in for a second bite. I really like that. The Dolce de Leche, like I said, I much prefer, not much prefer, but I, I do prefer the other one. But both are good. If I was to have either, I'm going to have another bite of this as well. I would definitely go for the almond one. Mm. The almond and cinnamon one, that's for me. It's nice, but mm, not nice enough to make me go back. I would definitely go back for mm. that. Definitely, but that's a definite yes for me. I mean, I'm trying the uh, nice, but it'd be interesting to stack it up against others, which is exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> so we've got the almond croissant, and this is the one that we were really put that down in the plate because we're going to cut that. I want to compare it to that almond. Okay. Okay. So. Wow. You talk about these. So, um, St. John's is a restaurant that I knew in St. John Street that specialised in offal and things like that. I never knew there was a bakery. And um, I came across uh, some YouTubers who had said, oh, um, that uh, they had just started doing, or not just started doing do donuts, but they really rated the donuts. And one of them, is a Michelin star. So this is the first time we're ever going to try a Michelin star donut. So say. But anyway. One of them is a Michelin star. So we're going to do the donut first or the croissant? Let's do the croissant first. Okay. Right. So, there the we croissant. Are. so this is the almond croissant. Okay. There we go. Ching ching. ching. That is really good. Mm. That's one of the best almond croissants I've had. It's not the best that I've had, but it's close to it. It's very, very good. The place that I wanted to go to, that does the best one that I've tasted, but, but that was a chocolate and almond croissant was close. Mm. So we haven't scored these. Um, Do you want to leave it to the end? We should score them, I suppose, as we're going along. So we know. Okay. So... The first place that you went to, mm. buns from what? Buns from home. I'm going to give the almond one, the first one, the almond and cinnamon. I'm giving that an eight. The second one, I'm going to give a six. Mm. The almond one, I would give a five, and the um, Dolce de Leche, I'd give a six. I'm the opposite. Mm. I'm not the opposite. I'll give the eight. I may even give that a nine. It was so good. Mm. This one, I'm going to give an eight. Mm. For me, yes, I'd give it an eight. So I'm going to get all three out. Look at that. So that's got the chocolate filling in there. Two. It has the raspberry filling. In three. There. It has the custard filling. Okay. Here we go. Ching, ching. That chocolate is very rich. Now, you can hear my hesitancy. It's a bit too rich for me. But it's like a Belgian chocolate. Yeah, it's like a very rich chocolate. Mm. But for me, the chocolate's a bit too rich and I don't think it goes with the donut, me personally. Mm. So I will give that a five. I wouldn't give I wouldn't give it as far as, as, as a five. I would give it a seven. I'd give okay. it a solid seven. Uh, I'm gonna up mine to a six. I think that is a bit of a, because the quality of the donut's very good. 
Ching, ching, ching. That's a really good raspberry. That's almost like um, homemade. But that's like a jelly, mm. isn't it? So for me, I don't really like the bits in it for raspberries. Okay, so not everyone likes bits. Yeah, um, I, I again will probably give that a six. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving I mean, that an eight. Okay. So you can see how Kelly and mine's taste differ. Mm. There's, there is a lot of raspberry in that. Yeah, I can't fault it on the amount of filling. That's, that, a, that, lot that's of a lot filling. of filling. So if you do like raspberry, that is one for you, definitely. Look, look at that. Look how much filling is in there. That's there's more filling than actual donut. All right. right. Grab that. So you can see how eager I am to get I it. I know. He's yeah. very eager. Ching ching. Okay. Mmm. I like it. That's very good. I've got to say though, raspberry's my favourite. Really? Yeah, raspberry's my favourite. Although I love custard and that's a fresh custard, mm. raspberry is my favourite. And I think it's because it's not only just because it's traditional, but I just like the taste of it. For me, if I have to choose the actual quality of the donut yeah. against bread ahead's quality of the donut. I was about to say, the quality of bread ahead's is better. And I will say that as well. It's very good, the, um, the actual bread. Yeah, it but, is very good. But I do think bread ahead is better. Mm. I agree. I think bread ahead, um, that donut, I cannot get the bread ahead uh, donut out of my mind. No, it's, yeah. bread ahead has got the fresh, so there we are. Mm. Right, we're going to move on. Yeah, so the next one, so I went to buy a savoury, the savoury uh, buns that you saw earlier, and from that place I bought this. There Here we go. go. All right. Ching ching. Do you know what? First part, I, I wasn't too sure, but mm. that's actually quite pleasant. Mm. Not the best one I've had. No. Do you taste the butter in mm. there? Um, it almost seems like that's crackler. Yeah. Are they put on the top there? I can taste the coconut. They did say coconut, actually. Coconut and custard, I think. So it's quite a dry biscuit, actually, or mm. dry cake. It's not a very moist cake. But that would go nice with tea, I think. Yes. That would go very well with tea. Yeah. Did we score the, the custard donut? No. I'm going to give the custard donut a seven. Me too. There we go. But it's not as good as bread ahead. Cracker, cracker lamb? This one? I'm gonna I'd score this. it a five. See, I'm going to do the same. Yeah. Check this out. So this is from Chestnut. Do you want to talk us through? This one is the apple crumble Danish. And, um, yep, yeah, definitely going to try that one. Okay. Oh, wow. It tastes really, really good. It tastes really, really good? I mean, really it looks really, really good. <laughs> tastes, I haven't even tried it yet. This is the eyes talking. That's the eyes. I was going to say, okay. it tastes really, really good because I'm just imagining it tasting nice. Well, I can't imagine oh, wow. it not tasting nice. I'm going to show you yeah, look at cross that. section. So you've got the apple. Then you've got, it looks like Branston pickle, but it's not, obviously. It's some form of um, apple chutney. I think it's custard and apple. And then you've got the, like, crumble on Crumble. Top. I reckon that bit's custard. All right. We'll have oh, it could right. be apple. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like a chutney. Right. But I'm talking about the yellow bit. Okay. The yellow bit, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. Could be custard. Here we go. Here we go. The crumble. That crumble's really good. And the top of this is really good. The Danish is okay. There's lots of spices in there, though. Mm. I can definitely taste cinnamon. It tastes like all spice, but I'm not sure it is. All the flavours are good. But just the Danish itself. I mean, the top part's flaky and everything else. But I don't know. But that topping is really good. And the filling, so good. I'm giving that a seven. Yeah. What are you giving it? I might give it a seven and a half, maybe. Now, this one sadly bought it a little bit. So it does mm. look better in the shop than actual that we had. Ching, ching. Here we go. Mm. Oh wow. 
that's delicious that's almost like strawberries and cream on a with pistachio and custard that has got to be the best one i've tasted so far i agree i instantly thought that julie if you're watching you were so right to say try this one that's a nine for me I, 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 would, I would probably yeah I, I would say an eight the best one yeah, so far best one so far what's this um that is uh a orange and ricotta um uh croissant and i do love it's got the little what's that called is that pearl sugar on the top uh yeah i guess so yeah Mmm. That's really zesty. I really like this one. Mmm. I've got to say, chestnut is killing it. Chestnut, it's if you're watching, it. you are definitely killing it. Wow. That crisp on, that crisp of the sugar, the filling is on point, the flavour. Mmm. I'm going to give that an eight. I gotta say, chestnut's killing it. Yeah, I, I would agree so far. Chestnut, you're killing it compared to. I'm, 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 and I'm doing. I'm now doing this compared they're, to. They're all down there. Yeah, all down you probably can't see it, but they're all down there. Right, I'm just gonna move that cake in there. So the last cake we've got is the one that Kelly wore. That's not the last one, but no, the last, the last one of what, chestnut. Last one of chestnuts. So what's this? This is the tahini cookie. Here we go for the tahini one, and it smells like gingerbread got such a it nice smells of peanut butter yeah okay mm. that cookie's amazing that's really really mm. good it's like a gingerbread mm, like a ginger snap yeah yeah that is really good that's an eight for me i like all of chestnut i've got some, so so far chestnut's been our favorite mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i would definitely go back to chestnut bakery right guys we're gonna speed on to the last one the last which is one. the donut time this is the uh pina uh pina turner pina turner so basically a pina colada one yeah okay here yeah. we go here we go ching ching you can mm. really taste that pineapple you can taste the pineapple yeah There's like a gel there. Yeah. You can see there, there's a little gel in between. The, and you can also see the little cherry in there. That's nice. Mm. I do like, that's one of the nicest ones they do actually. Mm. I would say. I'm going to give it a seven. Yeah, I agree. I was going to give it a seven. Um, all of them do not touch chestnut. Of all of these, and I agree with Kelly, chestnut has the winner. Yeah do do try these though if you do it don't let's put you off mm. none of these are poor none of them are poor but i've got to say chestnuts where's chestnuts uh floral street floral street they are in covent garden mm -hmm. that's our clear winner there and i think the clear winner for us was the or not clear winner but the clear winner of, uh, the winner of cakes would would be the strawberry yeah I, I liked all of them but i did like that tahini biscuit as well there you have it. That's it for Mark and Kelly's trips, tips and things. I hope you found that useful. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, please like, share and subscribe. It always makes us, help us make more videos and we love making videos for you guys. Until the next time, look after yourselves, take care. And remember, you're never too old to have fun. Bye for now. Bye for now. Oh, why oh. oh, you want to sing, do you? Yeah, get recording, okay? Okay. You, you, you sing first and I'll sing second. Oh, I can't sing. Okay, just, just push me on. Okay, you're on. Oh, sometimes I got this feeling. Are you girls dancers? Do you want to dance? Oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat. Oh, one more time. We're going to celebrate. I'm only human after all. There you You're go. Only human. DJ, human DJ Out already. Switching up the songs. Let's dance with me. This is what happens when what? you come into London. You could just meet anyone. Anyone. Singer.
DJ, all in one. What do you like, man? Where's that? There you what go. Is, what is that? <laughs> I've got to go.